Welcome to this video playing Grandmaster Robert Hungaski. Yeah, it's nice sometimes to have a name where you <laughs> directly identify who this is. Yeah, he's a GM from the United States. Okay, so we're going to get a Nimzo here with Knight A3 and G3. Oh, that's not very usual, this capture. Hmm, yeah, I wonder if knight e4 is still an option here, like I normally play. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Yeah, I like this kind of, this kind of position. Um, trying to um, trying to keep my dark squared bishop in this structure he has knight g5 ideas though hmm do i go h6 that's, that's very slow okay i still do it I wanted this setup. This is why I went h6 there. I could have played bishop e7 to cover g5. Knight g5 would provoke g6, which I really don't want to play. Okay, so here probably knight e5. Hmm, might be tricky. Let's see. White always has pressure in this type of position for his bad pawns. He has the d and b file often and I have to be quite, um, yeah, quite precise as black to not allow some kind of bind on the dark squares. Yeah, something. When if he ever gets the pawn to c5, for example, it will be very, very problematic. Okay, like d6 now. Mm, yeah, I guess bishop d7 c6 is a is an idea for developing with the tempo here. Maybe, what, what is the idea of queen a4? Bishop a3, I don't really get the idea. So bishop d7 to c6 was my initial idea getting stuff traded yeah i don't think it's a bad idea takes takes with this decent i can take e5 maybe hm. um i wonder if that was a good a good move order. <laughs> yeah, I think this is surprisingly okay, I think. Knight takes, b takes, bishop takes, rook b8 as a tempo, and then queen f6 is very decent for black. I didn't really plan that beforehand, but it is quite okay. So he avoids that, yeah. Probably with good good reason um c6 yeah it's a possible weakness hmm. yeah that's opposite colored bishops okay so Yeah, I don't want to give the pawn just yet. My idea is here f5 and e4 if he lets me, but uh, maybe I took the wrong rook there. Yeah? That's, that's very much possible. Yeah, rook d7. <laughs> It's not too great. 
but I think if, if he really wants to play rook d7, I'm not don't minding that much. He wins c6, but I'm not sure how much this really offers white. Okay, so like rook b6, queen a5 is his idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not really sure if he has anything here in this position. It's kind of dull. I think he will just go back to a4. Yeah. Problem is that those opposite colored bishops are always, always, um, yeah, a drawing, a drawing factor. I have no particular idea in this position, I have to admit. I'm just sitting around. Maybe I should have played h5, g6, but okay, it's not a big deal. He might play h5. Eh, eh, I should have I should have really played h5 myself. It would have been a little bit a little bit more precise. Nothing serious, but it would have been a little bit more precise, definitely. Taking a bit too long here. Time warning. I still think there's not much going on there. So I got one one rook traded. I'm covering my weakness there. didn't get that idea. It's bad. I should have seen that. What is the idea there? Queen F3, yeah? No, no, queen d1. Just a stupid idea. I didn't. I didn't really see. Check. Check. Yeah, that was com a completely unnecessary loss out of nothing. Black 
forfeits on time. Yeah, that was completely unnecessary. He has abs there's absolutely nothing going on in this position. I killed myself here by, by really playing in a stupid way. Yeah, it's never ever happening anything. <laughs> Just have to l see that there's queen d1. Yeah. Um, in fact, if I go f5 here, I'm probably not even worse anymore. I just thought I can do that in any case. Yeah, that's, that's it was his move. I just go here. And here, I'm not even worse. Not at all. He's playing without the bishop there. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, there's nothing going on in this position. Never was. I just have to prevent queen d1. Yeah, rook d7, but I have I have this this kind of idea. Here black wins even, which is not necessary, of course. I, th I just think it, there's nothing going on. I think it's just about equal. There's no reason why white should be should be better. Not not much at least. I think it's it's just just equal for a very long time. But um, yeah, after queen d1, the way I played it, it got tricky. And it was much easier if I would have avoided his h5. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Now it gets kind of tricky. Yeah, comp wants to play f5, but uh, that's not not very human. Yeah, and here I'm, I'm toast, yeah, I'm toast. Queen a6 is still okay, but now that, that's get, that gets very tricky. I was thinking uh, this gets okay probably I can play this passive defense here yeah. even that is a draw yeah but that was strong of course nah, I, I played this Check. really badly also a bit too passively I'm mean, this f5 idea I should have I mean I saw that the idea is there but I thought I can play it like uh, whenever I want and I didn't ask myself the question what the move rook d2 is actually doing I mean, if, if I really fail to see anything, I can just do this, and I'm still not, not, not losing ever. Okay, I can take a7, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't give up a7, that's not a good idea. But losing c6, I just put the bishop on c5, and that's it, yeah, there's nothing going on. f5 is strong, though. If I can really shut out his bishop, this is more like black doing something than, than white doing something. But um, now nah, that wasn't that wasn't good. Yeah, I didn't really spot that queen d1 is coming. Okay, well, thanks for watching.